So um, I, I, I want to start by saying uh, congratulations to Maitri and, and, and her team. It's a, it's, a, it's a really good report. I had a lot of nice th uh, things to say about the report when it came out, and it's all in, in writing in a blog post. So now I'll focus on the critical things so that, uh, that I can say. Um, it's, I mean, I, there, are, there are a couple of things that I really like about the report. Uh, the, it's very comprehensive. Uh, knowing the, the internal politics of the bank a bit, I think it's a very brave effort to, to tackle such a complicated issue that is non-economist in, in principle. So, so that's very brave, so congrats for that. Um, I particularly like the, the, the market services and spaces framework. It's an obvious reminder to Amartya Sen's uh, work and, uh, and on what he called the ability of people to, to participate in society and live a dignified life. Uh, it's also very important that the, the, the report talks about power balance. So, so those are elements that usually the World Bank doesn't tackle. So it's, it's great to see a, a flagship publication that does this. And in a way, I mean, it, 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 uh, it positions you and your team to, to challenge uh, a lot of the, the, the kind of like the ongoing debate on, on shared prosperity uh, in the bank. And I'd like to, 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 to concentrate my, my comments on that. Uh, there's been a lot of, of discussion about what the World Bank means by shared prosperity. And, and very often what we see is not necessarily what, what you have in the report. Uh, I mean, that, that, that idea that we should focus on the income of the bottom 40%, regardless of what happens at the end of the distribution. And, and I think what, what your report highlights, and I think that's, that, that will be the challenge when you, when you do a soft launch inside the, the, the World Bank and, and the like, and when you're presenting this and, and, and in this kind of debates, is that, I mean, you're highlighting that there is a serious sum element in a lot of the, 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 the welfare uh, kind of uh, dimensions of, uh, of, uh, of like, I mean, of, of at, at work. And what that means is that uh, basically that, that idea that the Pareto principle, that, I mean, if, if all the votes are rising, even if inequality is increasing, income inequality is increasing, is, is, is no longer right. And then it challenges that idea that, that I mean, we should only focus on the bottom 40%, with, regardless of what's happening at the, at the top end. So, so that's, I mean, that's one thing that, that will be, uh, I mean, it'll be very interesting for me to see how, how the debate evolves. I think now, I mean, uh, the bank is, is, is saying, well, I mean, we need to focus on the, on, the, on the share of income going to the bottom 40%. And then I wonder, how is that different from the proper, agenda, proper, yeah, proper growth agenda that, that the bank was pushing a decade ago? Uh, uh, we know from the statistics, inequality is increasing in, in, uh, in the majority of countries. Concentration of income is increasing, and I'll talk more about that in, in a minute. So, so the proper growth agenda didn't tackle those issues. And yeah, we have a, a massive reduction in poverty, but, but, but I mean, in many ways, exclusion is, 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 is still present in, 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 a lot of, in a lot of places. And, and the growing concentration of income is, is creating uh, some, some exclusion that we didn't see before. And then I, I was thinking when I was, uh, when I was preparing for this, um, how middle classes are excluded from London because the soaring housing prices are increasing. That's something that we didn't see before. And then that's something that, I mean, certainly is happening in rich countries, but it's happening in, in, in poor countries alike. And, and, and that's where the, the, the absolutist approach does not illuminate the, the, the problem. So, so, I mean, I guess, I guess, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll take the opportunity to say one, I mean, one of the things that we've been working on in Oxfam is how that growing concentration of income, uh, and, and I think that's, that's where, 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 where uh, probably we can collaborate more on, is shaping or reshaping the political process very often in, in, in favor of the richest. Uh, that's, that's what the, the report that Andy was referring to uh, deals with. And that's something that, that, I mean, actually leads to, 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 to the problem of, of social exclusion. So I'm not saying that concentration of income actually kind of create excluded groups, but it, 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 it supports that process. And, uh, and, and, and the question is, how, I mean, how are we going to link those two agendas, the agendas or, or the, those two problems, the problem of growing concentration of income, which, uh, which is kind of on, on a monetary kind of dimension with the, the multidimensional approach that has uh, 
uh, kind of like uh, uh, a rival nature in itself when, when we talk about agency and voice and participation that's uh, that's uh, 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 I mean <coughs> by 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 definition there is a zero sum game there you know if you have more voice then I have less if you have more power then I have less uh, and I think that's I mean that's the crux of, of, of the problem that we're seeing right now in, in, in development how do we move from from that idea that that that, that uh, I mean if we create wealth through economic growth Growth, everything will be everything, everything will be fine because there's a non-zero sum game uh, element there. To the idea that, like, actually, you know, the, the concentration of income and the concentration of wealth actually distorts processes, not only the political process, but like, I mean, education processes and the like, and then create uh, you know, what, what what we call horizontal inequalities. And the work that Francis has done uh, on on that is, is is very important. So I think I think we need to, to focus our efforts and the kind of uh, the, the debate uh, and challenge the, the the World Bank in 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 that kind of intersection between the monetary dimension of concentration of income and the non-monetary dimension of exclusion. I think, uh, I mean, if we manage to, to, to put uh, kind of a more, more, more light in that problem, we'll, we'll, we'll be doing a, a big service to, to the current conditions of a, a, lot, of a, a lot of excluded and poor people alike. <coughs>